Why did you back? Good morning, everyone. It is yeah. 849 right now. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here with uh, Justin McKinney. Uh, he is headlining at the Funny Bone, Justin McKinney. And uh, we're just curious about the name. Well, uh, names kind of come from interesting places, whether they're passed down or things like that. So I'm Jackie, and my mom loved the name Jackie, but she hated Jack Jacqueline. So people call me, you know, it's natural yep, to say Jacqueline, sure. and it's, I'm like, no, that's not my name. My mom made very sure my name would not be Jacqueline because she named me Jackie yeah. Lynn. So ah, I was like, that's even more confusing. Thanks, yeah. mom. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mom. Yeah. So no, I'm not Jacqueline. I'm Jackie yeah. Lynn. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. But I mean, yeah. that was in yeah. her brain. Sure. So we were wondering, with you being they Justin wanna... with an O, yeah. it, so where did that come from? This is this is the absolute truth because it's been a, literally a nightmare my whole life. Like I said, whether I'm going into the hospital, I, I'll fill out all the forms. I'm like, I'm like, hey, by the way, it's with another. Oh, we got to redo them all, or <gasps> the bank oh, no. statements, or, or whatever yeah. it's been. Report cards. It's just cards. natural to all, do that. Everyone, people, I'll write it down. They'll correct it. And I finally asked my dad. I don't know, probably. 15 years ago, I'm like, Dad, why did you spell it with an O? It's been a huge pain in the butt. Yeah. He really told me, he's like, because you were born just on time. Get it? Just on time. It's funny. And I'm literally looking at him like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, first of all, it could have been just in time. <laughs> That's exactly it's the same right. dumb joke. So he got the joke wrong, <laughs> trying to be funny. And so not only is it a bad joke, it's a butcher joke. And Your I, dad set you up to be a comedian. That's probably why. <laughs> no, that is, <laughs> but that, yeah. That is awesome. Just no, seriously. Time. But he got it wrong, but that's my dad. He can't spell. Yeah, that, that's even better. You know? he, he, yeah. What a great he, he story, though. Well, maybe for you. <laughs> Me, I don't know See, how. See, I would have jumped. You should have just jumped out yeah. just on. No, it kidding. look. It puts a lot of. It's a. It, 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 I think it does. It helped build up my strength a little bit and dealing with adversity. And I told my son Jack with an O. <laughs> that, um, he's gonna get used to it. You're gonna get used to it, son. <laughs> you'll, it. you'll understand. Yeah. Uh, so if people do want to follow along with what you're up to, be, obviously we're very excited to have you in town at the Funny Bone this weekend. But uh, beyond with specials, yeah. and that you're doing. How well, can we follow you? Um, it's, if you know it's Justin with an O, you're happy. <laughs> there. You're there? Um, okay. If you put that in Google, I think I'm it. I think I'm the one. Justin. Are you? Okay. If you put in Justin comedy, you'll find me. Just if you put a just on or whatever. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see if yeah. Google's ahead of uh, Amazon. It, 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 I was going to say, if I spell But if you your put J-U-S-T-O-N, just on, and yeah, then yeah. start you got to be one of the only just on. Okay, I will say there. Google, even if you spell it the other way, will pull you we'll up. We'll find it. Yeah. See, because Google has got its act <laughs> together okay. after 20 Parentally years. Parentally Challenge is the latest one, right? Yes, Parentally okay. Challenge. This is available. Uh, you can get the DVD CD through my website or you can get it on Prime. You can rent it, digital, download, however you want to get it. And all my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, if anyone's on that, if you could like my pages and follow me, that would be awesome. That, that's great. I'll that give a great. shout out to Iowa next week. There you yeah, go. You better, I, yeah. I will say, if you do put Just Dawn comedy in Google, it says, did you mean Justin? <laughs> it's still doing that. It's still doing that. Still doing it. Yeah. Still doing it still that. pulls you up though, but I love that at the top. Ah. Do you mean? Always questioning yeah. that. <laughs> now, uh, being from New Hampshire, uh, you know that's one of the things that we have in common uh, here in Iowa is uh, politics. Uh, very strong yes, in New Hampshire, yeah, very strong first, in Iowa right. too. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. And then just a, you know, about a month mm -hmm. ago, uh, again Halloween time, uh, you kind of combined Halloween and politics, and you put it into a presentation that really got a lot of traction, didn't it? I did. I did this actually a few years ago. It wasn't the last election, but it still kind of held up. Mm -hmm. So I reposted Absolutely. it. Yeah. Okay. And we're talking about what Halloween? A trick or treat attack ad is what I call it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, let's take a look, <laughs> yeah. folks. I know you're tired. You are tired of the political ads. I think you one might, more. Yeah, I think you might <laughs> like yeah, this one. Take a look. I'm Justin McKinney, and I approve this message. Before you kids hit the streets this Halloween, looking for a house to vandalize, know the facts. Over the last four years, I've given out nothing but full-size candy bars. You can't say that about my neighbors. They've accused me of supporting big candy. That is true, but I give it to you. I mean, fun size? Is this funner than this? The LaCroix next door, they hand you the candy. They don't let you pick it yourself. I support a kid's right to choose, whether you have a plastic pumpkin or a pillowcase. And the Wellingtons, they pass out fruit. Yeah. Now while science is still out whether or not an apple a day really does help keep the doctor away, I'll let you make your own decisions on your health care. And when Mr. and Mrs. Radigan's kids come home with their big bag of candy at the end of the night, they make them share it equally with all their brothers and sisters, and they even take a little bit for themselves. This tax and grab just isn't fair. I believe you should be able to keep what you've earned. And the Petersons, they're not even from here. This neighborhood is their second home. 
Last year, their lights were off at 7.05. I promised to never shut down before 8 p.m. And when disaster struck with the Halloween snowstorm of 2011, which pushed trick-or-treating back into November, I made sure I was here on the makeup day. Mr. Peterson didn't even show up. You can't trust him on climate change. So this year, when you think about whose house you want to trick, theirs or mine, ask yourself this question. Are you getting better candy from them now than you were four years ago? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Uh, well done. Yeah. yeah, that was fun doing that. Now, are yeah. those friends of yours? or uh, actually Some of them was. The guy from uh, Massachusetts, that's what I'm saying. He's not even from here. And like we flashed the Massachusetts plate on <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. But yeah, yeah he's my buddy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, outstanding. But, yeah. Well done. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so, what are we going to talk about? Because obviously, you talk about being a parent in your special uh, that you're featuring here on Amazon Prime. Uh, but what are you going to talk about tonight? If people come out and see you, what are some of your um, hot topics? It's a little bit of, you know, it's pretty much my life. You know, it's, yeah. it's uh, in everyone's life. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's whether it's marriage, relationships, or kids, or if you don't, but then it's just everyday stuff, topical stuff, stuff that's going on in the news. I try to do a little bit for everyone. Getting older, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? That's that's in there too, because I'm, I'm 48 now, so mm -hmm. yeah, so that's, you know. But again, very topical, and we have a, a topic around here that's getting a lot of attention too with the medical marijuana uh, and the, the that type of thing uh, that is coming up. So uh, that that's all you know, wrapped up into your show here, right? Yeah, I've got actually, um, yeah, I've got a, a, you know, I'm basically, first of all, <laughs> I've never tried marijuana ever, and people are like, "How could, uh, how, how could you?" People don't believe me, and I'm like, "And I'm like, look, like how did, you, uh, how could you have not tried it?" I'm like, "Well, because I grew up in the '80s, and there was a commercial with an egg in a frying pan. Right. Remember it? This is your brain. I go, this that was brain, it. Brain on drugs. Yeah. That's all it took. So that's all it took. And they spent hundred million dollars on that campaign, and they said if they could keep one kid off a pot, it's worth it. I'm the kid. And it was just on. I'm the kid. Just <laughs> on. At the Funny Bone tonight <laughs> and tomorrow, folks. Des Moines. So funny. Com. Funny. Go see this guy. Very relatable. Yes. You are going to have yourself a great time. Just Thanks, on. Thank you Just so much. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Thank you.